Hi there! Welcome back to Synchro Secrets, the go-to place for all things artistic swimming. My name is Agata, and today I'm going to take an in-depth look into how young artistic swimmers evolve from their initial training into the elite stages in the senior groups. We will cover essential milestones and skills developed at each age group and the key transitions that shape successful athletes. But before I start, make sure you press that subscribe button so you never miss any of my videos. Our journey begins when children first enter the pool. From ages 6 to 10, our main focus is on making swimming enjoyable while teaching them basic skills, building a solid base and building discipline. We start by building extension and flexibility and learn the basic positions on land first. When it comes to water, we focus on refining our swimming technique and start building a solid synchro foundation with body positions and sculling. During training, coaches also introduce some games to build confidence in the water and teach the necessary skills. While making fun for the swimmers, athletes start learning the concept of short figures and routines. I personally think that this time in the swimmer's career is exceptionally important for building the correct technique and basic skills. And I know, you might think that at this stage the kids learn pretty slowly, their attention span is very short, and it just takes too long to learn proper positioning and correct technique. Well, I'm telling you now that this will pay off later, so take your time, do not rush the process, and just keep going and teach them the correct base because it will be important for the next stages. As swimmers move into the 10 to 12 age groups, training becomes more structured. Or at least it should be if you paid enough attention into teaching the kids discipline in the earlier stage. The swimmers in this age group should also train more hours than in the age before. And the land training is as much important as before, but we should add some strength training, more complex artistic swimming skills like coordination, balance, sharpness and body control, and it will also be good if the swimmers start learning basic of gymnastics, acrobatic movements and ballet. In the water we start to refine their basic skills and introduce them to more complex figures and routines. This age group starts to participate in more serious competitions, so we begin to focus on competitive techniques and performance consistency. Additionally, we should introduce some basic mental preparation techniques like goal setting or managing stress. Making practice fun at this age is still very important, so when you play games make sure that they are more challenging and you also introduce so competitive aspect into them. Entering the 13 to 15 age bracket, swimmers are expected to handle more intensive training sessions with more hours in the pool and on land. In my opinion, this is the hardest transition there is for an athlete. Not only they have a more rigorous training, but also their expectations of others and them change. Firstly, the figures they have to perform change in difficulty drastically. They not only need flexibility or control, but also lots of strength and sharpness. This is the time that the athletes will struggle if their technique is lacking from their earlier stages. At this point, they already built their habits and it will take more time to change their technique. Of course, it is still possible, so the coaches focus a lot on the technique and further skills development. This is also the stage where we start implementing detailed performance analysis using video reviews extensively to fine-tune techniques and strategies. During the land training, we combine strength, flexibility, sharpness and body control all together making it more complex so the athletes are ready for their figures. Additionally, this stage is about building confidence and managing stress during the competitions. The athletes learn how to deal with pressure and failures along the way. Competition at this stage is tougher and mental toughness becomes a critical focus. Many athletes are selected for their first national teams and represent their countries at the European or World Youth Championships, so their first big competitions. When entering the junior ranks, the stakes get higher with technical elements instead of figures. Training intensity increases drastically with focusing still on flexibility, strength, artistic impression and innovative movements. We work on advanced techniques like all kinds of rotations, impressive height or traveling in hybrids and working on more complicated pattern changes or acrobatic movements. This is the time when some of the athletes get picked or get chosen to represent their countries in the junior and senior team at the same time. Performance analysis becomes crucial. 
We use video feedback extensively to allow swimmers to see their own performances and make adjustments. Nutrition and physical conditioning programs are tailored to meet the growing demands on their bodies. The swimmers often have to handle multiple aspects of their life at once. So the school, private life and training has to be combined. Therefore, I think that sessions with a sports psychologist are a must at this stage. Additionally, the heightened stress that the athletes put their bodies through can lead to injuries. It is better to work with a physical therapist and prevent the injuries than go through prolonged times treating the injuries. The transition to the senior level is the ultimate test of the swimmer's dedication and skill. Training is now at the professional level. Swimmers are expected to perfect complex choreographies, exhibit peak physical conditioning and deliver emotionally resonant performances that captivate judges and audience. All that when demonstrating excellent technique and execution. We place a strong emphasis on mental resilience. The competition is fierce and the psychological demands can be overwhelming. Therefore, regular sessions with a sports psychologist are a must. On top of all physical and mental demands, the coaches and athletes need to excel in strategical thinking and finding new ways to express themselves and stand out from their competitors. This requires many hours of practice inside and outside of the pool. I hope you enjoyed this quick summary of an artistic swimmer's journey that is marked by constant challenges and growth. If you found this video helpful, Make sure you like, subscribe and hit the bell for more insights. Share your experience or questions about artistic swimming in the comments under this video. I love hearing from my viewers. And I hope to see you soon. Bye!